Well, here we are. I wanted to talk today about fitting a crank arm to my crank. Obviously one crank, the drive side is already connected. And uh, so I'm gonna put the crank arm on and then I'm gonna talk about uh, the preload device. Right, there we go. The crank arm is on here. And if I can get a close up, there's this little tiny plastic tab that actually lines up there. You see there's a little hole? That lines up with that. Push the tab down. If it's on tight enough, one second. Yes, it wasn't on tight enough. So I'm gonna press that down. Okay, that's now flush with the top of that. So that plastic tab is a safety tab. So if for some reason the bolts come loose, it won't slide off. Uh, it'll have to tear, up, tear that piece of plastic off. Anyway, so I'm now going to install the tensioning device. I've heard it referred to as a dust cap, but it's actually a preload tensioning device. Don't forget to focus, there you are. It's got some fresh grease on it. And I shall put it in to the hole and start it off. Making the right pig's ear out of this. Come on, Andrew. This way, I'm going to have to start again. There we go. Now, here are two tools you can use. There's this tool, or there's this tool that comes on the end of the um, bottom bracket tool. So this is this section here is for tightening your tensioning device, or we could use this one. So we'll use this one. Put it in the hole. Right. Okay, that's pretty tight, firm, and I'll just drop. So I'm going to use this device. Fit it in the hole, and I'm going to gently tighten. The book says one newton meter. BB Infinite say to put one finger in the hole and turn it. So that's pretty firm. So I'm gonna back it off and I'm going to put my finger in the hole and I'm going to tighten it with just my, just my pinky finger. And get it round. That's it, that's tight. So now I have to retalk these bolts, two bolts each side, 12 Newton meters. Uh, that's what I use. It does say 12 to 14, but err on the lower side in case you strip a bolt. Here we go. This is all finished now. The important thing is not to over torque the preload adjustment. I have seen videos where people are cranking down with this tool to, with a, an enormous amount of force. But it's only a flimsy plastic preloader and it only needs to be one newton meter which is virtually nothing so that's why i use my little pinky finger in there until it just doesn't turn anymore 12 to 14 newton meters on the bolts and the hooky thing on the end of this device is for raising this plastic clip and of course when you're finished with your torque wrench Release the spring tension, or else you'll end up with, if it, you'll get a bit of creep on the spring over time if you don't, and uh, you'll need to recalibrate more often.